Hey everyone, it's V Bailey and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a little bit of a different video, but it is still book related. So today I am here to show you guys my reading journal. This is a Clever Fox reading journal that I just got off of Amazon. I want to say it was like nine dollars. So in this video I will be showing you my reading journal setup as well as doing a plan with me for the month of June. I'm really excited to do this video because I absolutely love watching like bullet journal videos and plan with me videos and reading journal videos. They're like some of my favorite videos. A lot of people like use ASMR to go to sleep and sometimes I use like plan with me to go to sleep. So um, I'm really excited to do one of these and kind of show you guys like what my reading journal looks like on the inside. I did want to mention that I did get a lot of inspiration for my beginning spreads from Books with Chloe and I will link her channel down below and her video down below as well as I'll put her card up in the corner and um, I also wanted to mention that I did get some inspiration from Brittany the bibliophile as well as Pinterest so that's where I get a lot of my spread ideas from. I'm really excited to show this to you guys and I hope you guys like this video and so with that being said let's hop on into the video okay guys so this is what my journal looks like close up on the outside i don't have any stickers or anything on it just because i don't know i haven't really found any that i've wanted to get so um maybe one day i will add some stickers but for right now i just really like the color and i um, didn't want to cover it up so that's why it is plain so first I'm going to start by opening my journal and on the first page I kind of just have kind of like a dashboard kind of and like this and this. Um, these are just like notes for my um, journal in the future and then like these are just like sticky notes that I use in my books and so I just have them like taped in here. I also have the uh, tab colors um i haven't exactly finished my annotation key yet um like i have them like written down like right here and stuff but like i don't have it written down here um so i still need to do this and then so for the next page there is a page right here but i have um taped it together just because i don't really like the way it looked so um i did tape that together and then so this is like the first page and so on this first page as you can see it just says reading journal this obviously is not finished but it is kind of like a word collage for like the books that I have read so far this year um, I only did this year obviously just because I was just starting this journal this year but I hope to continue to um write in the books that I read as I continue to read them so for this one um I definitely like every time I finish a new book I will write the title of it in here and I just write it in different fonts and different styles and stuff to try and make it a little bit different so the next page is my 2019 reading goals and my main goal was to read 37 books and as you can see I have read 24 out of 37 and so I don't really have that much more like on here that I had as a goal really and and so that's why this mainly has this. I did want to read more audiobooks this year but I did not write that on here. But next year, if I have any other goals other than just reading a certain amount of books, then I will put that on here as well. So this next spread is my 2019 review. I did start this in March, but I started like journaling in April. So I did March, so it would be like an even number on both sides. And because it was close to the end of March, when I got this journal so I was like might as well put in March even though there is not a monthly spread for March but obviously next year it'll have like January through December. Alright so next we have my top 19 books to read in 2019 and this list is taking me a minute. I as you can see I've only read two books off of this list and I am currently 
struggling to get this list but hopefully I can do it I still have seven more months to finish reading everything that's on this list so the next page is my April spread so I did kind of like a bumblebee theme for this one and so obviously on this first page I just have a quote that says one must always be careful of books and what's inside them for words have the power to change us um, said by Tessa Gray in Clockwork Angel. I wanted to do a quote page like at the beginning of every month just to kind of make it more cohesive I guess you could say and kind of match the theme. Um, I have decided that I will be doing a quote from a book that I read the previous month so I look for quotes kind of that stand out for me in the books that I'm reading and then if one like really stands out then I will write it down on a sticky note and I will choose one when I go to do the next spread. And so this is the April cover page. And this just says April. And then it has like a little calendar. And at the bottom, I have like this yellow and it says days read. So it's helping me to keep track of days that I read in case there are some days that I read and then some days that I don't read. And this just kind of helps me keep track of like how much I'm reading and if there's like ever a period where I don't read a lot and like this month. So all of the days that have yellow are days that I read and the ones that don't are days that I did not read. So the next page is my April events and my April TBR. So this I just have written Dar Smoke and Bone read along and then I have the book that we're reading and then I have the slay along and then what we're doing for that and then I have the live show dates. I didn't get a chance to write in this live show date but I did write in this one. And then I also have my TBR on this page. And this month I only had one book on my TBR. So that's why there's only one book. This next page I have my April reads and my pages for the month. So I just have my, the book that I read, this rating that I gave it, and then whether it was an ebook or an audiobook. So if it wasn't an ebook or an audiobook, then I just leave it blank underneath it. And so that's just kind of what that is. And then down here at the bottom, I wrote seven books read. So for the pages in April, I basically just wrote all the days throughout the month and then I counted in tens. And so each little dot serves as 10 so it's like 10 20 30 40 50 and so there's a line right here that marks 50 and so on and so on and then I will highlight in or color in the amount of pages and then for this month I wrote them down the center but I did decide to change that up in May because I didn't like the way that it looked down the center so I did end up implementing that change in it. I also in May did switch these two because I wanted to see if I liked my reads on this side better and as of right now I currently do. Also at the bottom of this I just have a total number of pages that I fill in at the end of the month so that way I have a number to put in my wrap up videos. So this next one is the start of May and as you can see I have a quote from New Moon which I read in the previous month and I also have my calendar on here as well. These are not finished because it is currently still May as I'm filming this so this spread is not completely finished yet but I did want to show you guys a few of the changes that I did implement in here. Alright so like the previous month I have my events on one side and my TBR on the other and so I have my Dar Smoke and Bone read along and what the book is and then there is not a live show date as of right now but when there is I will put it in there and then the slow along and then watching season three of both the Vampire Slayer and then when the live show date comes out and then I'll put that there as well and then obviously we have my TBR which is in my May TBR video if you want to check that out. I will put a card up in the corner. And so basically, as you can see, I just kind of color in the box. Um, it does go in a pattern, so I 
use three colors this month so I use a light blue a dark blue and a gray so it goes gray light blue dark blue gray light blue dark blue gray and so that is how that'll look when these are all colored in and then as you can see I switched my pages and my reads from the previous month so it is currently the 20th of May when I'm filming this so I have all of my pages read up until the 20th so there is no page count yet and then for this one I did add a comment section down at the bottom and since I did use this darker blue color then I kind of write if the day is that dark blue color and I can't really tell what page number I wrote on it then I obviously will write that down here so that way at the end of the month I can go in and tally all of them easily. On this side is my reads again and so far this month I've read four books and I have my rating on the side. As you can see this page is still not quite finished yet because there are still pencil marks and these kind of help me to make sure all of my stars are lined up because if you look back in this previous month in April none of my stars are like in line and they're all different sizes and that just kind of bugged me so I decided to just go ahead and try to make them all the same size and give them like lines so that way they're even and none of them are really bigger than the other all right, and so this is a new page that I implemented in the month of May, and this is a media page because I noticed that I had been watching a lot of movies and watching a lot of TV shows, and so I wanted to incorporate this so that way I can keep track a little bit better of what I've been watching. So in this first page is the movies, and in the second page is the TV shows, and so I just have the name of the movie and the rating that I give it. But but I think next time that I do this page, I want to do it in a chart format instead of kind of like this free write format. And then this side, I have the TV shows. And so I have the TV shows I'm currently watching. So Buffy the Vampire Slayer season three, I did finish it. So I will not be adding any more dots to this one. Lucifer season four, I did watch all this one. So like the previous one, there will not be any more dots added to it. Game of Thrones. So I finished five, six, and seven, and I still need to finish eight this month. And then One Tree Hill, I have a line that marks the number of episodes, so that way whenever I finish, like I still have three episodes in season one, so I will put a dot for each episode and then erase this line once I finish all of the episodes. That is all for the setup. So now I'm going to start the plan with me. So I do have a sticky note right here for my Biblio game PBR that I will be putting right here. I am going to be doing a spread for that. And since I think it'll only take up one page, I have set aside this page for another quote at the end of the month and so this month in June I will just happen to have two quotes instead of one that month which is fine. I also have this piece of paper right here that I wrote down the classes and things like that so that way I have what the category is and what book I plan on reading for that and things like that. I also have this paper that is kind of a rough draft of the spread that I want to do on this page right here. So I will be looking at this as well. And my theme for the month of June is going to be watermelons. So I'm really excited for this theme. I hope it turns out cute. And um, I'm going to show you guys what kind of pins and things that I'm going to be using. So with that being said, while I'm drawing and things like that, I generally like to watch a show. So I'm going to get my show ready and then I'll show you guys like what kind of pins and things I use. I don't really think I will be talking through like while I'm like doing this. So I think I will, I think I am going to wait on the quote pages on the front and at the back just because I'm not finished reading this month and so I don't want to use one of these just in case uh, one that I like 
better pops out at me so I am just going to be waiting for the end of the month for these pages okay so I got out like most of my the supplies that I use so obviously I start out just with a regular pencil and this is just a Bic pencil a 0.7 millimeter number two pencil that I just use to kind of outline everything and then I also use this high polymer eraser by Pentel I have literally been using this eraser for like five years now and it still has the whole eraser so um this thing it does not ever run out it seems and I still have three more that are unopened I'm not exactly sure where I got this from I think I got it from Target maybe but it works wonders. I absolutely love this thing. I do not know how I would do any kinds of arts and crafts without it. Next, I also use these Papermate Flare pens. This is the limited edition pack Candy Pop. And I use these mostly to write in my journal. And I like this because it has like a bunch of different colors in it. And so usually whatever my theme is, there's always a pen to match. So I generally like to use these to write in my journal and they don't bleed through. So that's nice. Next, I also use the Zebra Midliners and these are like highlighters and they're nice because they're double ended. Um, this is the one that I had set aside because I use it for in my May spread. So um, basically it has two ends. So it has like the regular like thick tip like highlighter end. And then this one has like a thin hip. So I do like to use these in my spreads as well. And then finally, I have my Rider Dyes, my Crayola Super Tip washable markers. This is the 50 pack. I want to say I got this for 10 or $12 at Walmart. And it has all of the colors in it. There are so many. And I literally live by this thing. Like it is so torn up I probably need to like take these out but I just love having them in here and I use these definitely a lot with my reading journal all right so now that I have officially shown you guys my markers and things that I use to color in my journal I think I'm going to go ahead and get started with the actual making of the journal so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the pencil outline and start doing my color matching and deciding what colors I want to use for the month and things like that Now that I'm done with this part, I am going to go in and outline it. I am going to be using this Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner to outline it because it is a really thin tip. So I'm going to be doing that right now. I don't know. I'm trying to actually decide if I want to go ahead and move on to the next pages and then just outline it later or go ahead and do it right now. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it.
Okay guys, so I have finished for the time being. I still have to put the quotes on the two end pages, but I just figured I would go ahead and do a flip through since I won't be doing the quotes until a little bit later. And um, if I remember, I will try to insert photos at the end of which quotes that I pick and what they look like. But right now I'm just gonna do a flip through. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this reading journal set up and play with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked this kind of video, let me know down in the comments and I would love to do another one for you guys. Also, make sure that if you did like it to give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and that you hit that bell icon so you never miss whenever I post a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.